Welcome home. This is the Irish Roots Cafe where every day is a holiday and there's always room for one more. Come right on in, pull up a seat. You might have heard that on a few of my podcasts over the past 10 years. And now I'm here to talk about our number one best-selling Irish genealogy book. Been around for, uh, gosh, more than 15 years, I believe. 1997 was the first edition and we've updated it and made it better each time. And now we're in our fourth edition and that's what this uh, uh show is to explain just what that fourth edition is and how it might help you and just what it contains because some people just walk up to a book breeze through it look for the name real quick if they can find it fine if they can't find well this book has a lot of things in it that you might not see if you do it that way and they could relate directly to your family now the uh, book of Irish families great and small that most people are aware of right now is this one right here and that's that this is the third edition and it first came out in the hardbound and then uh, to the paper cover and uh, that one is officially out of print now uh, but boy I sure like that cover it was my one of my favorite but we had to update this book and this was a good one now we've also got a video on that book that gives you all the details in very high polished way with a lot of uh, uh, photo clips in there so you can go to that and everything you see in that book uh, that is that will be contained in this new book, which has a lot more. Here is the new cover, Irish Families, Book of Irish Families, Great and Small. Uh, a lot of different things about it, and one of the first things you'll see is that either with the book or on in the back cover there, we'll have a, a CD of one kind or another. Now, this is a, a DVD, which is the, that means it's a video. You can turn it on and, and, and watch it with the family. And I've got some sample podcasts in there. I've got some sample videos in there. I've got, uh, it's just a little bit of everything to introduce you to the Irish Roots Cafe and irishroots.com. That's, that's uh, what I do to help genealogy out in this world. Now, just what is, what is in it besides that that's new, you might ask? Well, you got to remember there's a lot of pages in here and we've got a lot of different sections. It's not just one section you go to. And uh, some people say, well, it's just an index. No, we added the index and right now it's the biggest index we've ever had. Uh, for the Irish Families Project and that's one of the big things that brought this new fourth edition out is the Irish Families Project now you might say what is the Irish Families Project well glad you asked what I'll set this book down gently <laughs> heavy book a lot of information in there now in the Irish Families Project we have 34 books other than the one I'm just showing you now in for those 34 books we've got one book on every county in Ireland to help research families, give you some basic information, sources, resources, the uh, census of 1659 for that county, if it exists, uh, all kinds of interesting little things. And we've got a book on every county. Some of them are hardbound, some of them are spiral bound. It just depends. But I put them together all myself just to help out and they work together with this big book. But the big deal is this new fourth edition of the book of Irish families, great and small, has the index to all of these books in it. So you can look through that book and you can say, oh, look at this, this is very nice. I've got, uh, uh, yes, I see, I've got, oh, oh, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go over to County Westmeath and see my family because it's, it's the only book in the whole set that my name is found in. So that could happen, you don't know. Now, what else is in there? Well, okay, it's got the Master Index to Irish Families. It's got the complete 34 book surname index for the first time ever. Uh, earlier editions had smaller editions that had a fewer number of volumes because we hadn't printed the whole project yet. Well, now we have. I've also, in the beginning, for those of you who know nothing, which there's probably no one out there like that, but I've got some of my top genealogy tips uh, in there on the CD and in, in the writing there, along with names and addresses and ways to get started. And uh, there's about 2,000 Irish family name histories in there. That's where I put in information on 2,000 different family names and uh, sometimes it's a full column and sometimes it's just a sentence or two it depends I tell you there's a limit we could we could write a book on every single Irish family in the first book but it's not feasible and, and time and money just limits you so that's why we we did the first book that had a little bit of everything and then went to specific counties to take it a little bit further uh, now we also have 18,000 names and locations in a separate index that were sort of like over time where I have found these names in my research which county and after all the county is the big uh, is the big deal that's what you want to know the county in Ireland if you're first starting off your research and sometimes you want to know 
how many counties they were in, what are the odds is that, that, that this is your county. That's the way the records are put together, so you really want to know it. Uh, now, sometimes you also want to know what county's other names came from, like the, 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 your great-great-grandma. Did she, did she come from the same county? So you check that out. It's very interesting. Works good as a coffee table book, too, I found. Uh, now, we've also added the names and counties, counties that they were in, that are found on the map of the Four Masters. And that map of the Four Masters is the first big surname map, uh, really, of the modern genre that was ever put together. And that was done about all um, the late 1840s or so uh, in the annals of Ireland by the Four Masters, the Canellan translation. Big, giant folding map with all the family names on it, <clears throat> or we'll say uh, quite a few. And that's in the annals of Ireland by the Four Masters. Uh, and that's helpful, helpful for seeing where your family might have started out at in those counties. Uh, and, of course, as modern time comes on, people did move more and more. Uh, Full-size pages, 400 of them, 8.5 by 11, not those little 6 by 9ers. And uh, we've got coat of arms in there in black and white, and that's taken from the Irish Book of Arms. And I try to put sources in on, on most everything I do. Uh, we've got some maps in there, uh, maps on uh, the Norman settlements, the Viking map, uh, uh, broadcast sources, how to find your family, just a real quick little guide if you're just starting out. Uh, and it includes Ireland and Northern Ireland. It's not just uh, for 26 counties, it's all of them. And we also have a keyed list that you might not notice. <coughs> You'll hear the word uh, poor law unions put out, and that's an administrative division that might become important. But we've got, we've got in the birth index, the Irish birth index, it's keyed to poor law unions. And this will tell you which county, which poor law union is in. And that's, that's a helpful thing. And it can also just identify the county the names come from. Uh, you'll learn more about that later as you go on if you don't already know. Now, we've also got, uh, it includes not just native Irish, but it includes settlers from Scotland, England, Wales, the Vikings, uh, whoever settled in there. And if we found it, I put it in. Um, and we have, you know, their general family histories. If you're looking for, I want, I want John Smith from uh, 1828 who was born in this village. Well, I can't tell you it's going to be in there. But I tell you, there's a good chance you're going to find at least the county. And then if you're in one of those encapsulated histories, you might find a reference to your family or clan. I'm sure you understand that. Uh, so we can't guarantee every <coughs> person will be successful when they read this book. But it sure is a good start, and it'll set you on your way. And this one fourth edition ties you into all those other books, and it tells you if your name's in there. Now, not, they're not specifically written to have a, big, a lot of family histories in those littler books, those county books. It's to tell you how to search within the county to find your name. But it's still a good clue if you're searching. And uh, we concentrate a lot on how to find that county in Ireland. And, of course, we tell some stories about, uh, about the other families of Ireland that we've got in the book. Uh, but your first goal is to find that county in Ireland. Of course, sometimes you have to find that county in America if your line if your line goes way back. Uh, now you can get uh, you can get that fourth edition uh, several places. I know it's on Amazon. I've got it on my uh, my website, my genealogical website at irishroots.com. Uh, it's helpful, and I'm sure uh, a lot a lot of libraries have that fourth edition and earlier editions. And this fourth edition is brand new, so many libraries won't have it. But you can ask them to get it if you need it, or you can just go and, and poke around and look at that old edition and see if uh, you're going to want to hunt up the fourth edition. So that's it. Uh, there's a, a much better video, classier video, with all those big shots on it and books running through and all that uh, that you can look at. I've got it on my webpage and on uh, uh, um, uh, YouTube and, and, and Vimeo. So uh, look at that to get more details. But I wanted to update you on what the fourth edition is like, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much.